of these guys. Hope you can see in there. And I was about ready to start hooking up these switches when I couldn't remember if I wired these correctly. So I just pulled that one off that's wired correctly. But I need to check every single one to make sure that I wired them correctly. I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll double check just to be safe. And then we will attach all of these to the outside. I do not have enough wire, so we'll see uh, how far we get. Got this wired up. I've got a switch for each light. And I got a switch on each side for each light because there's six lights total. Now this is where the power is going to come in. And I set this up a little backwards. So the power is going to plug in here and then that's going to distribute it to the other pieces. So this plug is going to plug into the other one. With this plug. So yes, that's two male ends. It is on the same 15 amp, 14 gauge wire. So that plugs into here. So that's gonna bring from this side to the other side. Now this is gonna plug into this power strip. I remember these are only 50, 60 watt amps. So at most, you're talking 360 amp, or I mean 360 watts, not amps. So 360 watts at most when all three are on with all six lights going. So that's very, very, very little. And this will hold, you know, this will do 15 to 1800 watts through the wires. So we're good there. So what would I do different? Well, I would put a plug and a switch on each one of these instead. And then that would have a plug coming off that switch. Or it wouldn't even have a switch. It would just be a cable with a switch right in the cable. So then you could just plug it in to whatever and you just have a little power strip here instead of four. One, two, three, four, um, well five, I guess. Five on one side, four on the other side. So you got one to plug in, one to plug all the way into the other side, and then each one of these, instead of having a switch like this, would just be a cable with a switch, and that cable would plug in to there. That would be a much better way or even just have longer cables and a power strip to plug in each one individually. And the reason I say that is because these are movable. But in order to move these, I'm gonna have to take the wiring apart. Now, if they're permanent, that's fine. But if they're not, then you're gonna be taking them apart and putting together a lot. So. That's the thing I would change for sure. And then the front of these, I wouldn't make the door one big piece. Cut each one in half because if you're putting food and water down here, what's to stop the chicks from jumping out over there? So I'm gonna have to figure out something to put there while I'm standing down here so they're not all just jumping out. Or I cut those in half and keep one side closed while I work on one side because it's a lot, if you're standing here, it's easier to keep them in and not have to worry about the other side. So we're gonna have to figure something out. But other than that, we're about to test this. 
I didn't put any lights in there, so let me put some lights in there. All right, well, before I do that, I need to find my lights, and I need to make the small cable to plug into the power strip. So these cheap ends, I'm not too excited about. If you look in there, it looks like it's possible for them to touch, and that's no good. So I tested the other one, and it was fine. So I'm gonna test this one, but I'm not gonna test it in that plug because that plug furnace is on. So all of these are off. Every single one of these is off. So when I plug this in, nothing should happen. Should energize this plug, but that's it. Nothing happened. Now, let's flip this switch. Nothing happened. That's good. We've got these. So my ceramic ones that I ordered are 150 miles away because they delivered them to the wrong place. So, I went and picked up these little 50 watt red lights. I only got two of them just to test out. Come on. Alright. You got these little 50 watt bulbs to test out. Now that power is off. Let's screw this in. See if I can get the camera set here. Alright. They said it's the right size. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna flip the switch. Light should come on. Boom. Oh yeah, it's putting out some heat. Not too much to the side, but to the front. All right, turn that back off. And I'm gonna plug in this one that's just hanging out. Now this should energize the other side. So that whole other side should now be energized. So let's get this other light in there. And make sure that that's off. switch boom perfect so I'm going to move that wire over to the other power strip I'm going to clean this mess up I'm going to get the bedding put the bedding in there turn those on and see how the thermostat goes I want to make sure that everything works and brings up to temperature before the chickens get here. So if there's any issues, I can fix them. I'd like to point out too that that's pretty high up there. So this here is, is three inches, no, four inches. So that's four inches. And ow, just stuck my head on a screw. 
um, the center of this is another three inches. So that's seven inches up there. So I don't think that uh, those are gonna be bothered by the chickens. Um, as the chickens get bigger, we'll move this higher. So I, I thought about putting some metal around it and maybe I will, but I'm not sure. So this plastic is a pain. If you're going to put plastic in here, I would suggest putting it up on the back side first and getting that flat there and then working your way forwards on the sides and then finally on the front. And if you have extra on the front, you can always cut it off because working on that back side is super difficult, especially with that in there, which brings up another point. I think these shouldn't be hardwired in either. Up here, there could be a plug or up there, there could be a plug, something where you can just unplug it and it's good to go. Maybe there's just a plug way up there at the top and you plug it in and then it comes out to the switch. I think that would be way better. So if I make these again, definitely gonna put a plug in the top of each corner, uh, the two back corners so that this can be easily removed. Otherwise you have to either undo it from the switch, which may not be easy, or take this out. So now that I've got this plastic in here, I'm going to go get the bedding, put the bedding in here, and then give these lights a, a full test. We've got some bedding material in there, all the way to the back. It's not super deep, but it's not super shallow either. And we'll add more as needed. I just put that back there so it's probably not reading the correct temperature or humidity. So it was sitting on top of the refrigerator. There's one. There's two. That sure is bright. And it just dropped to 79.9. And we'll watch to see. If it warms up. Now these are only 50 watt bulbs, so it's not like super warm, but what I may need to do is insulate the top. And you do that just by filling that up with, you do that with filling that up with bedding material. It is going up though. some bedding material up top and see see what happens. We're now up to 84.6, still climbing. It is after I put a bunch of wood chips up top. They're not super deep, but it's enough to keep the cracks filled in. 84.7 and our relative humidity also went up. And I put my hand in there. It feels a little warmer, but not significantly. And we still have this outer door open, so I'm gonna close this outer door and see how that affects it, because then there will be less airflow. So I've got the door closed, and we've already jumped up three more, or point three more since then. Let's see, 
had dropped back down to 84.7. So 85.3, it's really jumping up now. Also remember that there'll be 50 chicks in here and they also produce heat. So that'll help increase the heat even more. So we're at 85.3, chicks need 95. Let's uh, give it a little bit and see how it goes. Also, it is roughly 76 in here at the height of this window. It's been about, I don't know, it says 36, so you can see what it was before, but we're at 90.3, still slowly going up, 90.4. So it was at 92 stuck my hand in there and it's actually slightly warmer over here and over here underneath the bulbs but still 91 92 right there in the middle that's plenty warm enough you had 50 chicks it's gonna be warmer than 95 in there so all in all I think this is a success I'm gonna turn these bulbs off and I may just get a couple chickens to see how they do. Maybe like six of them or something because the other chicks aren't coming for four more weeks. Just got the plastic and the flakes in the other two. And I am just putting in the waterers and feeders. These are very small. And my finger barely fits in there about a half inch deep and maybe a quarter inch wide holds a lot of water but there's pretty much no way a chick can drown in there somebody would have to force its head in there and hold it under these are the feeders they have this bar on top so once they hop up there they'll fall back down should keep their feed cleaner now i have so many of these because there are 50 chicks in each one so oh. maybe I don't need this many, but better safe than sorry. Um, I put one water close to the heat source. Uh, these two foods ends are close to the heat source, and then we got some further away. And this might be too much stuff, but we'll find out. If they're not really touching one of them, I'll just pull it out. So maybe I only need two of each, but I got three of each for each one. All right, we picked up some guineas. Partly to test this out and partly because guineas are gonna be good addition overall. They really want out. seven of them. The easiest way to get them out is going to be to tip them down. And here they come. You don't want to come out. Come on. Okay. 
them through a little cold. Come in here, buddy. Might not be warm enough. Well, I'm going to grab their food a minute. They have figured out the feeder, but I'm not so sure that they have figured out the water yet. I think I saw one drink out of it, but I'm not sure. Now they were, they were, uh, their water was the same thing at the store, so they should know that there's water in there, but I'm gonna watch them for a little bit and make sure they drink out of it. It's already about 10 degrees warmer in there than it was. almost 80 in there it'll keep going up well, I might be more in the middle all oh, those guys fighting they're picking up wood checking it out If one of them doesn't uh, drink water soon, I might have to show it to them. <laughs> 